Wu, CCP agents caught with dozens of fake driver's licenses and thousands of gift cards at sea border. Intro, what's up, intelligence enthusiasts? It's your host, your name, and today we're diving into a shocking incident that has sent shockwaves through the U.S.-China relationship. Get ready to uncover a web of deception as we analyze the recent capture of Wu Chinese agents at the California border. In a routine search at the Indio checkpoint along the U.S. Mexico border, vigilant border, patrol agents stumbled upon a peculiar discovery. Five individuals claiming to be asylum seekers were found in possession of R-13 fake Pennsylvania driver's licenses and thousands of American gift cards. Now let's put on our critical thinking caps and dissect this situation. Why would ordinary asylum seekers seeking refuge in the United States be carrying such a large number of fake IDs and gift cards? It simply does doesn't add up. Allow me to introduce a bold hypothesis. These individuals were not ordinary migrants. They were Chinese agents on a covert mission. Their possession of multiple fake IDs suggests a coordinated effort to infiltrate and potentially disrupt American society. The gift cards, on the other hand, raise suspicions of money laundering or illicit financial activities. Could these agents have been tasked with funneling money into the U.S. for nefarious purposes? This incident serves as a stark reminder of the growing threat posed by Chinese espionage and interference in American affairs. It's no secret that China has been actively engaged in cyber attacks, intellectual property, theft, and political influence campaigns around the world. The presence of these agents at the border is a clear indication that China's tactics are becoming more brazen and sophisticated. They are no longer content with operating in the shadows. They are now willing to infiltrate our borders and undermine our national security. Unique insights what makes this case particularly alarming is the sheer audacity of the operation. These agents were not simply carrying a few fake IDs. They had an arsenal of 23 different licenses, each with a unique address. This level of planning and coordination suggests that they were part of a well-organized network, likely operating under the direction of the Chinese government. Furthermore, the timing of this incident is noteworthy. It comes at a time when tensions between the U.S. and China are already running high due to trade disputes, the COVID-19 pandemic, and China's aggressive military posturing in the South China Sea. This incident could be seen as a deliberate provocation by China aimed at testing the limits of American tolerance. It's a clear message that China is willing to push the boundaries and challenge U.S. interests even on American soil. In light of these developments, Developments. It's time for the United States to take a hard look at its relationship with China. The era of blind engagement and appeasement must come to an end. It's time for a complete decoupling from China, both economically and strategically. The U.S. must reassess its trade policies, reduce its reliance on Chinese goods, and strengthen its alliances in the Indo-Pacific region. It must also invest heavily in its own technological development and innovation to reduce its dependence on Chinese technology. Conclusion last year, in January and February, we exposed the southern border infiltration plot, revealing that China had infiltrated 25 Mi military-aged individuals into the United States. This incident at the California border is yet another piece of evidence that corroborates our previous findings. It's no coincidence that these Chinese agents were caught with fake IDs and gift cards. This is a pattern that we have been tracking for some time. These agents are part of a larger network of operatives who are tasked with infiltrating American society and undermining our national security. The fact that one of these agents was caught red-handed with such incriminating evidence suggests that the Chinese Communist Party is becoming increasingly sloppy in its operations. This is a sign that our efforts to expose their activities are having an impact. We must continue to shine a light on these covert operations and hold the Chinese government accountable for its actions. The American people deserve to know the truth about the threats that we face from foreign adversaries. Conclusion The capture of these Chinese agents at the California border is the confirmation of our previous reporting on the southern border infiltration plot. It is clear that China is engaged in a systematic campaign to infiltrate and undermine the United States. We must remain vigilant 
vigilant and take decisive action to protect our national security. The time for complacency is over. The capture of these Chinese agents at the California border is a wake-up call for the United States. It's time to recognize the clear and present danger posed by the Chinese Communist Party and to take decisive action to protect our national security and our way of life. If you found this video helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Also, stay tuned for the latest current affairs on the Capture the Intelligence channel.